completely violating the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. I Next do time appreciate I see you up here, I'll, I'll talk to you again. I do. As, as a law enforcement officer, if, let's say, they said we are enforcing this, and then they said, hey, someone is in the lobby recording, go kick them out or trespass them or whatever, would you do that? We'll talk again. Do we hear it? Or can you comment on why the Deland Police Department is so open to violate the First Amendment of the Constitution? There's something wrong in life if you're afraid of the camera. What it is. Talk to you anytime it I is what you. it is. I'm easy to ignore, but when I become thousands, it's harder to silence. Surprise, surprise. We're back at the Deland Police Department in Deland, Florida. It looks like they got all sorts of new uh, decals on the doors, uh, announcing proudly to the public that they, or at least the administration here, uh, the rule makers here are willing to openly violate your First Amendment rights. By First Amendment, I mean of the United States Constitution. So we're going to go in and we're going to just find out uh, how much are we paying for these anti-constitutional signs uh, that the Deland Police Department is spending on our behalf. Uh, and how, how many of them have they made? How much does it cost? What are we paying for these signs telling us we are not allowed in the city of Deland to exercise our constitutional rights. And, uh, well, let's see. They say I can't record in there. Let's see if they've got an issue because Constitution says I can. So guess what we're gonna do? Exactly what we always do. But first, walking up to the Deland Police Department, and I had just noticed in the back that Chief Umberger, you can see him pulling out here in the black vehicle, he was getting ready to leave, but he was also there with Captain Dice and some other people. The last time I spoke to Captain Dice, he welcomed more conversation and looked forward to it. And he said he would never run away from me. When I, when I pulled up earlier, you say, oh, look at Captain because Dice. Because you were running. walking away. Oh, and I, I was running. And I, I, and I appreciate that you came back. But I wasn't I running. That. So why, why would you say I'm running? That's an, When you say somebody's running away, it doesn't mean physically actually running. It no, I ain't a, talking about that. It means that. avoiding no, the avoiding. topic. Right. But how was I Which avoiding? That's what you were doing. No, you, I wasn't. You saw how slow I got out of I the car? I was asking you questions. You Did saying, you see God how bless, slow God I got? Bless. If I was avoiding you, first of all, let me tell you. You're avoiding the conversation. I saw you when I pulled, when I, I came I knew you by did. Me. I saw you. I you if did. I was avoiding you, I would have never pulled in the parking lot. Well, never that's what, did it. I agree. That's what he did. You knew <laughs> that I was going to talk at you. Yes, I did. You no, emailed no. me. I, I know you were going to you did know that. You did know. You did know that. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, I don't want you to think that. No, I'm you're not to running. Run. No, I know. I got, you're not running. I, really I got to go. I Next do time appreciate I see you up here, I'll, I'll talk to you again. I do. I'll talk to you anytime it I see you. We'll talk again. Yeah. But the chief is driving what appears to be in a distracted manner. I think he's making a frantic phone call to Captain Dice right now to let him know that I'm coming. But I'm too close. He can't make the call in time. We'll see Captain Dice answer the phone call here. So shortly the chief is like, Dice, hey, watch out transparency and accountability is right around the corner and dice is probably like ah blast he's right here in front of me i'll pretend i don't see him just turn my back a little bit that way it doesn't look like i'm running away from him just pretend i don't know he's there and surely he has no idea what's going on in this phone call or who it's from just act super casual slowly move away and towards the door remember he said he looked forward to our next conversation chief is uh letting him know that I'm coming. Chief just pulled out and uh, <clears throat> saw me. Immediately called him to let him know that I'm here. Hey, tell Chief I said hi. Hold it. Yeah. Hey, I have a. I I had a suggestion. He can better the agency. Next I do time appreciate. I see you up here. I'll, I'll talk to you again. I do. What I'll it is. talk to you anytime. It I see what you. It is. We'll talk again. At the Deland Police Department, as you know, they're doing everything they can to avoid transparency and accountability, including trying to ban the First Amendment of the Constitution. We were here yesterday, but now these signs are everywhere that you paid for. We're going to come in and see how this goes while recording. Don't forget, though, you also paid for their mistake, the signs that they had to take down and replace because they wrote law enforcement personal instead of personnel. Completely violating the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Oh, look at that. They mean business. They're putting that everywhere. Yeah. What's going on? Boy, they're they're not. What are they doing? 
Don't forget you are paying for all of these signs that violate your rights. Jeez. Yeah, that's brand new. That wasn't there yesterday. Oh, that one, no. Yeah, I thought it was at first, but no. Yeah, I was going to say that one's in there. Yeah. These Man. seven are new. They put it on like... <laughs> All of these uh, doors, every door, and then I noticed I don't know who put the sign. So someone at the post office uh, contacted me. Okay. I guess they work over here, right? And they said that this one or this one, this like right next door, yeah. or I don't know if they actually work in there. I don't know. They're from the USPS. I don't know. I personally don't know who they are. Yeah. But they says somebody from the police department was contacting them okay. to uh, put up restricted access signs in their back lot. You know, I'm not coming here to see if I can record. That's never a question. Well, I mean, until now, now it's kind of a question here, but yeah. I have things that I'm doing, right? You know what I'm doing. So one day chief back there was telling me that's private property too, the post office. I was like, the post office is not private property. It's government property, it's public. Are you, are you the chief? I am. You need to move back behind that sign. Now you're on U.S. Postal Right. It's okay. pub public property. No, that's not public. That's, that's, private. Not, that's private property. It's, it's government property. It's public. Are you the one? You know, if I create an issue or something, if I break a law, they can get rid of me or whatever, but it's public property. So then soon after that, someone at the post office made the claim that someone at the police department here, I'm not exact, exactly sure if it was administration or community relations or whatever, contacted them to ask them to put up signs to restrict public access to their back lot, which I have to assume is to better protect them from answering questions or anything. Yeah, so I'd never had any issues with anyone at the post office. We'd exchange brief pleasantries or whatever, like, hey, how you doing, cool truck, whatever, you know. But then after I was told that they were trying to solicit the post office, I think kind of gaslighting them, saying like, hey, we're over here causing trouble and all this, and. You know, can you help us block them? Yeah. Then suddenly I go over there and there's some guy yelling and screaming at me. I'm like, what are you? I didn't even know he was talking to me. He's like, and I recorded it too. And he's like, I didn't even know what he was saying at first. Yeah. He's like, you can't be in there. That's private property. You, I was like, it, it's not. Re relax. Why are you so upset? And he's like, and he yells, climb all over those one of those trucks and see what happens. You can't control hey, well, I work here. Don't work on that property. That's the city of Deland. Climb all over one of those trucks and see what happens. Were you like up under the overhang or something? No, I was way over here, <laughs> far away from him. He was under the overhang, but like far away, and climb all over the trucks. I don't know. So that tells me that whatever they told me probably is yeah. true. They've been gaslit by somebody to say that I'm here causing trouble. Um, but then I see that they put a sign somebody put a sign that says i think it says u.s property no trespassing or something like that it's posted on the no parking sign in the grass next to the sidewalk by the post office as as a law enforcement officer if let's say they said we are enforcing this and then they said hey someone is in the lobby recording go kick them out or trespass them or whatever would you do that with what's currently now like what so like no no yeah, let, let's say we say those signs Right. No, because it's a policy. I'm not enforcing a policy. Right, right. At all. Right. So no, I'm not. So if they, but if they, I mean, if they said, hey, we're going to enforce this, we can't allow anybody, because the problem is, and I think they have to know, I mean, it directly goes against the First Amendment. Yes. They just keep making it worse and worse, man. It's... I, the, the phone calls, it's just been... I, I imagine. It's, because it's not, it's not every day, you know, for them to make a move, surely they know what the First Amendment is. Yeah. So for them to make a move and for it to be out in the media and everything. Yeah. I mean. Nationwide, that's like pretty much unheard of. So that's pretty shocking when somebody hears that. Yeah. And, and, and you know, you don't know me besides what you see. Right. Yeah. We've never had a bad interaction. No. I've always been straight with you. Yeah. But. I say these people because I don't know who they are. Yeah. yeah. All of because they're so pissed. Oh, really? Are you getting a lot of calls here? Like, sorry, sir. Yeah. Like to them, you you are the face of the police department, but they're not understanding that you're you're not doing that and you're not. 
you know. And that's I've I've been trying to explain this to administration too. Like some of your guys are getting shit on because of things that you're doing. Yeah. You, and Captain Dice, you know, he said something about, you know, I'm not going to let you portray this negative image. Like you are portraying the negative image. I was literally pleading with him, like, hey, here's some things that you could do. You look at one of my videos and read the description, one of the recent Delaney ones, you'll see it. Yeah. I put in there, you know, you are going to be used, because this happens, as an example of what I am doing, what we are doing. So if, you, if you're calling and you're, make, you're nasty and you're making threats and all these things, they're going to say, look, because it's already happened, you know, look, here's an, here, here's an example of those people. They're trying to group me into, or group a lot of people into one group of agitators is what they're trying to say they are, or we are, I guess. And then they use things like that to support it. People say, you know, the email or a voicemail just full of just nasty hate. And, and then that's the only thing. They, they get a lot of other ones too, yep. but they're not going to show the public those ones. They're going to show the public that nasty one. I've been called so many names on this phone, but it's not directed towards me. So I just listen in case they need something. Yeah. And it's they don't need anything if it's a voicemail. And I'm like, all right. Let me do so. If you're calling, let me do this. If you're calling the Deland Police Department, <laughs> the phone is in this office that you're calling. Right? Right now, it's Corporal Spires that's in here. Yes. Corporal Spires is not making these policies. He's not doing any of these things. He's working back here because he has an injury and he's answering the phone. Yes. So... 100%. So it, it's not him. He didn't do it. Just <laughs> remember, he didn't do it. Thank you. The media told people that we wait out, essentially we wait out there, then follow people in, and then come up here and record them at the counter. Have you seen that happen? I have not. Wait, I haven't seen. I can say for me, I haven't seen where someone's standing there and you got a camera right in their face. Right. It's, it hasn't been that. Yeah. I will, I will vouch for that. that to anybody. That's another thing they use a lot too. They say, oh, they come up and throw a camera right in our face. Never have I done that. I, I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, that, that would be rude as hell. Because I can tell you one thing, you're not putting a camera in my face because there's a no. bulletproof window here. Right. If, if my whole thing is if you're afraid of that, then there's something wrong in life. That's my point. Like, you're, there's something wrong in life if you're afraid of a camera. You know, the way I see it, and I've told lots of people, when you get a cop that has a problem or is annoyed that you have a camera, and remember they have it too, they're doing it, but if they're annoyed or have a problem that you do, I see that as a red flag. Why? You know, I, I have no problem that you have one because I know I'm not doing anything that I'm afraid to be on video. And like Chitwood, he likes to say that, he, he, he tries to victimize and say that um, I or we or whoever target individual cops. What he means by target is identify problem ones yeah. right and point it out and then bring public awareness mm -hmm. see when i reach out to chitwood i send a nice cordial email hey there's some issues with deputy lowry um here's some things that he's doing it's it's proven yeah. uh cases are dropped he's enforcing his feelings a nice cordial and professional email i get a simple response that says i think you're an uninformed asshole <laughs> i'm like are you kidding me so when he won't listen and he won't yeah. do it what I think what the best recourse is, is to document these things and let people see, because I'm easy to ignore. But when I become thousands, it's harder to silence. You know what I mean? The reason I, I stopped in, I just wanted to kind of in reference to all this stuff. I just wanted to get uh, invoices for the cost of all their new decals and signs. Just an uh, invoice from I don't know, whatever they did, whoever made it. I, I think it was City. City made it? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess. Well, I'll, I'll put it in. So just kind of invoice or whatever cost it was, how many man hours to make them or whatever for uh, production and installation. And the number of them that they created, signs and window decals. Please. So, so just I'm trying to invoice for the cost of the signs in the man hours plus the number of signs. Yeah, signs and window decals of the just Are the. You good, so let me ask you this: Are you good with me sending this in the morning? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm the, no rush. Okay. It's just something I wanted to pull.
It's closing time, so I'm heading out back again. See if I can get Dice or even the deputy chief on their way out. See if they're not afraid to have an important discussion with the concerned like public. Captain Dice is still here. Uh, I guess we can hang out for a minute and see if see if he wants to hear my idea. He said before that he was looking forward to talking to me again. Uh, he, he wanted to talk at any time. He'd be willing to talk, so. Next I do time appreciate I see you up here, I'll, I'll talk to you again. I do. What I'll it is. talk to you anytime it I see you. We'll talk again. I, I want to give him a genuine idea, like I was explaining to um, Corporal Spires in there. I have an idea that can benefit the department, benefit the image, or improve their image, and, and show true pro-transparency. It's actually pretty disgusting that they are apparently intending to put a fence up here these signs aren't good enough because the signs nobody to my knowledge has violated their marked perimeter but um like you saw before they just don't want to face things that are tough this is not harassment they want the public to think that it's harassment it's not it's questions that are tough to them uh you know but when you do things like openly publicly apparently proudly violate the first amendment of the constitution people are going to ask questions these questions that arise from the actions of administration at a department cannot be labeled harassment but just like we have paid for not only these signs all the new signs in the front to violate the constitution uh this fence that i do believe they are in the process and the works of putting up is just a, it's not for protection it's not for safety it's not for anything that they claim to the public that it's for it's so there can be a barrier here so they can safely walk out without having to face questions like that so it's my guess they're going to fence off this whole area so you won't be able to see back there unless you see a little bit through the fence depending on what kind of fence it is or if you lift the camera way up high that's cowardly again right uh, to administration i'm not name calling i'm saying that actions like that are cowardly but the taxpayers the taxpayers are paying for it we are paying for them to hide from us and violate the constitution so they just peeked out to see if i was still here i think i missed it I stopped recording to say battery and storage they literally just peeked out to see if i was still here and i am so now they're gonna wait are you kidding me hopefully come on come out deputy chief I got a, I just have a suggestion to share. I have a suggestion to share. Do we hear it? Or can you comment on why the Deland Police Department is so open to violate the First Amendment of the Constitution? And why the taxpayers have to pay, pay for the signs? There we go. There's one. Deputy Chief. That too is cowardly. He will surely go out the other way. He's gonna go that way because he's not gonna come towards me. That was the deputy chief of the Deland Police Department. Uh, obviously, he, I imagine he is very pro the fence. So he doesn't have to encounter that. It's, it's shared. Let me know what you think, but I'm that really does display cowardice in my eyes that dark blue suv straight ahead that's captain dice's assigned vehicle he drives that all the time that's what he uses he takes it home that's what he drives and last week i gave him credit i give credit where it's due he disagrees that he displays cowardice he said he wouldn't run for me and has no problem speaking to me i do appreciate it i'll talk to you again i do what it is and he's the last one left today for administration or last vehicle left i waited a short time longer and then I learned that Captain Dice left through another exit, leaving his own vehicle behind, and took a marked police car home for the day. Seems like he did that to avoid me. What do you say that displays? Go refresh yourself on the rest of this crazy story and stay tuned. We will also request the cost of removing these unconstitutional signs and decals that have brought them so much embarrassment.